forever I was fighting for yeah open source, like having the source code freely available. But with machine learning, the interesting part is actually not the software. The software part is quite boring. The interesting part is the data and the, the training data. It's it's a bit of a, a threat to the open source movement. Uh, and we really have to expand um, the like the definition of open source because otherwise in the future, we still have the software, but we cannot really do something useful with it. Um, so like data is an interesting focus area. Absolutely. And then how accessible the data is and uh, you know, who's, who's mm -hmm. all of it. We actually planned like a huge announcement, huge announcement in the, in the, in the second uh, half of March. Uh, in just a few weeks and uh yeah i just would invite everyone to check out our homepage by at the time um and yeah we really will do very interesting things around um yeah privacy security ai and other topics yeah so there's still a lot of students who never really contributed anything to an open source project you can you get feedback from other people immediately so it's great to learn um, and of course, you're also giving something back to the world, which is a good thing. So from my perspective, like um, working with open source, contributing to open source, this should be the absolutely core of of um, education if it's about writing software. But I'm sure everyone would like to see more open code and open data from research that happens at university. 100%. And this is uh, yeah related to what I said earlier about the challenges of machine learning, where access to data uh, is, is so important. And I, I think organizations like universities who have access to data, if it's, I don't know, whatever data it might be, <laughs> they should like same as code, um, have it in the open to make it available to everybody to, um, to access it, to do interesting things with it. It might be machine learning or it might be something completely different, but, um, access to data is, is so important. Um, uh, and uh, there are also government organizations who collect a lot of data, can be anything, right? Can be traffic data, can be weather data. All this stuff should be open because it is um, yeah, key for the future. Well said. And, and a lot of the research is actually funded by the governments and the European Union. And so it mm -hmm. should all be accessible for, uh, to the people. Absolutely. Uh, and then, you know, I hope we can yeah. discuss about this more in the future. A lot of people, especially young people, they look at our computerized world um the internet everywhere and think that everything has to be the way it is today um but as an old person <laughs> i can tell you that um all the way the internet works how social networking works the way cloud works this is all built by humans uh like you and me and uh if we don't like certain things for example if you don't like how social networking works nowadays we have the opportunity to change it and improve it and as uh, software developers, we can actually do that. And yeah, I just want to encourage everybody to um, yeah, think about the world and what they can contribute to. And with code, we actually can make a big difference. And uh, yeah, be a little bit idealistic and uh, help to improve things.